Hello, welcome to the second of our episodes from the 2024 Le Mans 24 Hours. Today's race day. Hello, welcome to Gareth Jones on Speed. I'm Gareth, he's Raf. Hello. He's Chris. Why? He's Phil. Hello, Nick. And welcome to a very special edition of Gareth Jones on Speed. You know, if you listen to this show, that the motor race that we love more than any is this one. And we are in pole position to enjoy this show. I'm sorry, I'm giggling. I'm giggling with excitement. We're actually in the ACO grandstand. And if you've ever been to the Circuit de la Sarre, you'll know that the ACO grandstand is right on the start-finish straight. We have got the best seats in the house, you could argue, to watch the world's greatest motor race. Raf? Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, sorry. Raf, you've been to Le Mans before. How does it feel to be back? Fantastic to be back. I mean, especially here. Uh, as a place to get the build up and get the atmosphere I'm not sure if you could find anywhere better it's incredible yeah it is incredible we've got an hour to go before the race starts and I was adamant as I've got two Le Mans virgins 40 minutes 40 minutes it's getting closer that we need to be here for the build up Chris how's the Le Mans experience been for you so far my mind is blown yeah really Uh, really I can barely speak, it's that blown. Oh, and I know you're being sincere, I can tell. <laughs> Phil, campsite's all right, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic, lovely bunch of people. Yeah, 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 yeah they're Very, extraordinarily yeah. amenable, aren't they? It is um, an easy walk from the campsite. If you're thinking of coming to Le Mans and want to stay with Team Langostine, it is an easy walk to the circuit. In fact, as you know, it's we're perfect already... position, really. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Who are you backing for the win then, Chris? I just love a Porsche. Yeah. But I'm doing Toyota as well. The missus is on Toyota. I'm on the Porsche. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Well, Toyota have won it five times in a row, I think. But it's been a couple of years since they have won it. So well, they, they could win it. I reckon the Porsche will win. Okay. That's for me. Yeah. My lady is on the Toyota. So you're covered. Because, because the man wears a cowboy hat on, on the badge. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, you're sitting opposite your team garage. Yeah, I like, I like Cadillac in the qualifying. I like Cadillac. I, I wouldn't have chosen them if I hadn't watched the qualifying, but I think they've got something there. I think they're in with a good shot. They're in with a very good shot. They've got one of the absolute quickest cars here, haven't they? There's no doubt about that. Porsche only nicked pole at the last possible second. So, you know, it's tight. It's tight. It all depends on the weather, your look, how you run the team, how you run the race. You know, it's open. It's a, you, you don't beat the other teams at Le Mans. You beat the race. The race is trying to kill you, right? Not kill you, but trying to, trying to make it difficult for you to win. So we've got a long way before the uh, start of the race. Well, 24 Plink. and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that. They are slowly starting all the motors in the LMP2 class. We're sitting opposite the mid grid and there's a great deal of preparation going on. Driver, crew rather, with their heads in the car, making sure everything is working. We're getting close. The cars are just inside of my stomach. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> we use up a lot of energy, Raf, with burning up those calories. Just an excitement, I know. Gareth Jones on speed! <laughs> 25 minutes from the start of the race, and a French military helicopter is hovering over the start-finish line. Two French military guys abseil down from the helicopter. 
one of them carrying the flag to start the race, the other bringing the French flag. We just had Le Marseille, the French national anthem. We all stood up. I felt tearful. Once again, proud to be French. I am, I mean it. <laughs> Two more guys abseil down, 100 foot, don't know what they're bringing. A quiet before the storm. A 24 hour race deserves a three hour build up, doesn't it? Two more guys have sailed down. That is fast, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two the white pair of guys it. on the right. Yeah. Coming out abseiling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got the cords. God, they really come down at a pace. Yeah, they were dropping, weren't they? Imagine that rope running through your hands. You have to wear gloves. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. don't wear gloves, you'll have no fingers left. Correct. I'll tell you a story later about how my mother got picked up by a barrage balloon during the Second World War. She was working on the barrage balloons. Oh. Here we go. Listen to this helicopter. We're going to go past us right now. At head height, down the start, finish straight. Big turn. Is he going to go the other way? Down the start finish straight. No, he's going behind the grandstands. Yeah. Once again, quiet. Anticipation. Anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Chris gets it. Time for a quick run through the grid to let you know who I'm supporting for the race. In the GT class, LM GT3 as it is now, no longer GTE. Uh, the number 85 car, the Iron Dames, the Iron Lynx team, of course, running a Lamborghini Huracan. Michelle Gatting, Rahel Frey and Sarah Boy. The number 54, Vista. Visa AF course car, Ferrari 296 GT3 driven by David Origon, Francesco Castellacci and Thomas Floor. In the LMP2 class I've got two cars, Ben Barnicote, Nico Varone and Francois Perodo in the number 183 AF course. Orica Gibson as all the LMP2 cars are. Uh, and my other LMP2 car is Fabio Scher Cuffin Simpson. I'm going to pronounce it the Welsh way, Cuffin Simpson. His name is Kiffin, that's how he pronounces it. But Cuffin is a town in North Wales. And there's a place in Conway called Guffin. It's the same word, spelt slightly differently. And he is from the Cayman Islands. But the abbreviated form of Cayman Islands is CYM, which is the same as Cymru. Wales, so that's why I'm supporting him. The third driver is Daniel Heinemeyer Hansen. That's the Nielsen Racing Team, again, and Orica Gibson, 07. And in the hypercar class, I'm supporting three cars. My mate, Neil Jarni, in the number 93 Proton Competition Porsche 963. I'm not sure how well they will do, but that's Neil Jarni, Harry Tinknell, and Julian Andler. My second hypercar is Stoffel van Dorn. Stoffel van Dorn, Stoffel van Dorn, Stoffel van Dorn. His large collection of porn. <laughs> With Paul de Resta, hello. And uh, Luc de Val, who used to race in A1 Grand Prix many years ago. Not so many A1 Grand Prix drivers this year. Only two, as far as I could tell. Luc de Val and Neil Jarni. That's the number 94 Peugeot 9x8. How well they will do, I don't know. Peugeot have struggled to make their car work in the hypercar class. But my number one car is the number 51 Ferrari 499P. Alessandro Perghini, James Collado and Antonio Giovinazzi in the 
Ferrari AF Course car. That's the car I want to win the top class. Could they beat Porsche? Could they beat Cadillac, who are looking quick? Could they beat Toyota, who are in... Well, they're in a good shape because they know how to win this race. Whether they've got a car that is capable of it this year, who knows? Toyota didn't have much competition over the last few years, but now, thanks to the balance of performance and the new hypercar class settling in, they've got some stiff competition. Garrett shows up speed! Once again, all the engines are started. Everybody's standing up and there goes the Alpha Jets of the French display team down the start finish straight, scattering red, white and blue smoke, waving over us. You can smell it. I know you can't smell it on the podcast, but you can smell the fuel right now, right? Yeah. We'll have one, maybe two. I think we'll only get one. They're pulling away. The hypercars leave behind the pace car up towards the Dunlop Bridge. What a class of hypercars we've got this year. Two or three times as many as we've had in the top class over the last few years. I have to say, I think the Cadillac is one of the most beautiful hypercars. It's low and flat. Listen to that. There go the United Autosport LMP2 cars, skeetering away, skidding, drifting, as they pull away from that iconic diagonal position that they line up all the cars on the start finish straight. Here come the last of the LMP2 cars. And here come the GTs, the McLaren, the Porsches, Ferrari, the Mustang, listen to the Mustang, Mustang Rasp, Blue Aston, another Aston, Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, two Lamborghinis, another McLaren, Ferraris, and a must, a yellow Mustang, a gold Mustang. Who's this one at the end here now? That's that's a, a Ferrari. That's one of the privateer Ferraris. Don't know the team. Sorry. And off they go. Imagine what it would feel like sitting in that car, thinking, "I must not mess this up." Right? <laughs> not right now. Not right now. Oh my God. They'll be uh, reporting back. They'll be noticing things in the car. Yeah, Hang on, something's yeah, not yeah, quite right, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you've well, got to be there. Imagine being in the privileged position of sat there going, everything is bloody. Yeah. We're yeah. going hunky dory, no problems. Let's bloody yeah. go for it. And it's not easy to do that because the sliver of a lack of performance, you know, you mess it up and four cars will pass you, you know. Yeah. So they've got, they've got to stay in the... Oh, we've got a car in the pit. The Lexus is in the pit. He hasn't made the start. Kaz, my love, will be so disappointed. <laughs> See again, Ref. At the very end of the pit, there is. Yeah. Starting from the pit lane. So there you go. They've, they've got a problem already. Will they be released before the cars come round? Are they going to have to do their warm-up lap on the first racing lap? They'll join the, uh, they'll join the back of the line. Right? Yeah. Yeah, if you're not on the grid to start. Yeah, they won't be able to. Yeah, I would have thought it'd be the. Well, I don't know for certain, but I would have thought it would just come in once they've all gone past the start finish line. And yeah. I wonder why, what happened to him? Yeah. Technical problem of some kind. You just want them to be alright, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I remember being here and seeing a WRT uh, that had been in the pits for like four hours or no two hours maybe a long time ago oh, and it finally rejoined for the last lap so it was running at the end of the race Aww. everybody cheered yeah, yeah. You everybody you gotta yeah it's just about taking part isn't it the yeah <laughs> you gotta be in it to win it what's this music they're playing it's not the Sprex Zarathustra very 80s isn't it is it Axel F 
<laughs> Axel F. A... And then he went on to form Guns and Roses, didn't he? <laughs> Axel F. <yeah. laughs> Axel Rose. <yeah. laughs> this is more like Rocky music, isn't it? It's yeah. Rocky Four, I think. Is it? Yeah. Or three, three or four. Oh, it's it? Teen Wolf. <laughs> Why are they not doing the usual piece of music, I wonder? They're mixing it up, they're shaking it up. Just because it happened before it doesn't mean it's going to happen again. It's nice to see the Penske Porsches racing in a colour scheme that harks back to the Porsche of the 80s. Bit of tradition there at Le Mans. Fred Vasseur is here in the Ferrari garage, of course. I don't know how much responsibility he's got for the endurance team, but he's here supporting it. He's the head of the F1 team. He'll just be here to give like disapproving looks at things when they go wrong, <laughs> and, and then they'll just suddenly get better. Yes, because that's what he's done. That's what he does, yeah. yeah. It works. Yeah. Well, no it wasn't wants, so good. No one wants a dirty look from Fred. No. You want to make him smile. He's got a good smile. We love Fred. We do love Fred. 56 flags flying above the main grandstand. France, Germany, Belgium, South Africa, Canada, Italy, Turkey, Australia, France, Denmark. What the heck is that flag there? I don't know what that is. Why... Red and green with a red tea and, and like a cross yeah, cross swords. Yeah, cross swords. Cross swords. Looks Arabic, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Lots of Union flags. And more Italian flags. The crown on it. There's a Georgia, no, not Georgia, but could be, couldn't it? The blue and the red with a yellow crown on it, and the one next to it, which looks sort of East European, would you say? Vilnius yeah, Croatia, or somewhere? Maybe, or Croatia. Oh, that's checkered, isn't it? Red yeah. White, red white. And then you've got the Jamaicans with the, <laughs> got the Jamaicans with yellow, green and red. I don't know who that is. China. Is yes. that China? Yeah, of course it is. And another flag all wrapped round the flagpole. Oh, red and white, isn't it? Portugal, yeah, that's Robert Kubitzer. Oh, There's your Jamaica. Portugal, yeah. That, oh, that's South, South, um, Argentina. Yeah, Blue yeah, and white. Yeah. That'll be Jose Maria Lopez. And a Chilean with the one star, red and white. Yo, yeah. What's the one next to it? The yellow one with a. I'm not sure. On that again, it might yeah. be one of those little islands, isn't it? That have... Could. Oh, that'll be the Cayman Islands. That'll be Kiffin yeah. Simpson. Yes. Yes. Cuffin, yeah, as we would say. Be. Yeah. Israeli, Brazil, Japan, uh, uh, Austria, the red and white. Yeah. Uh, Switzerland, another Austrian What's driver. That one there, the next to the Italian. Ireland. It's the Irish flag, orange, white, Sorry, and green. Not Italian, bloody Irish. Irish, yeah. What's the one next to that? With that yellow loop in the middle of it. Don't Black know. Black and red, isn't it? Red Split top, blue bottom, Black, yellow loop. And New Zealand. Yes, yeah. Spain and France. Yeah. yeah. A whole bunch. Yeah. A whole bunch Everybody. Yeah. Over Japan. US, if, yeah, Jap- yeah, Japanese flag there. Oh, here we go. The Lexus is moving down the pit lane. Oh, he is. Oh, good, OK. Yes. Going to take a position at the end of the pit lane. Pity clap for the Lexus. Yes. I drove a Lexus for 19 years. I should be supporting that car. Where are they now? The car's looking at the screen. They're going through the Porsche curve, so we're getting close. Not the Porsche Cos, the Ford Chicane, I think. Well, they do we... another like, warm-up lap before I... they actually... Sometimes they do two, sometimes they do one. What time is it? Oh, no, no, it's one to four. They're coming around. Stand Here we go. Stand by, mind your ears. I'm going to turn the record level down so we don't go into distortion. Music. There's your music. Bam, bam, bam. Right, I've turned the record level down so we don't get distortion. Apologies if it does distort because you're about to hear one of the greatest spectacles in all of motorsport. I want to film this, but I also want to just watch it. So yeah, that's the trade-off. Well, I'm just going to hold my phone and hope for the best. Here we go. Ba, ba, ba. 
As a Welshman, I'm obliged to sing, even if I don't know the lyrics. I can see them now coming through the final chicane of the pit entrance. The pace car pulls in and listen to this. Here we go, the 2024 Le Mans 24 hours. Porsche and Cadillac lead. The hypercars, here come the LMP2s and the GTs. Oh, my trousers! <laughs> and there they go on the first lap of I don't know how many laps do they do over 24 hours well, this is what we were asking yeah we're trying to work it out if each lap well, is skills aren't good enough no I mean <laughs> 1 minute 20 something for each lap uh, so that's what 30 something laps in an hour times 24 I don't know I can't work it out 720 laps yeah Oh, look at this, they're already line. One of the Cadillacs just got out, took one of the Cadillacs past the other Cadillac. Peugeot's right on the tail, squashing through the S's. No, where are they? Steady as you go, boys. We got another 23 hours and 50 something minutes of this. Team laps to go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about the quiet, I'm just trying to work out where the cars are before they come round for the second lap. They're still right on top of each other. One of the Porsches, I think that is. I haven't. Oh, it's a Porsche leading with one of the Ferraris in second place. Got a, he's got that Cadillac already. Cadillac now in third and fifth, and I think fourth. There's a bit of overtaking. That'll be Bourdais. You can hear the. That'll be for Bourdais, the French crowd. We'll support the French driver. Yeah. That's Indianapolis, I think, that corner. I'm sorry you can't see the pictures. I'm trying to make the pictures on the radio as good as the real world pictures for you. But we're only, I don't know, 20 seconds away from the end of the first lap, so... We'll hear them go over the first lap, then we'll settle in for the race. Steady as you go, boys. No one seems to have spun out on the first lap, which does happen sometimes if it's wet. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, 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 sorry. Perfect conditions. Yeah. Perfect conditions. It's cool, so we'll get a fast race. Listen, you can hear them. I'm just going to shut up. Listen to the audio. You can hear them coming, can't you? Hands up. A Ferrari leading? No, it's a Porsche. It's a Ferrari. A gap to when the GT got, cars. Uh, was it uh, United? So 23's jumped 22 there. Right. They? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's the other way around, possibly. <laughs> Love the Mustangs. Uh, 
And there we have it, the first lap of the 24 hours with Ferrari in first and third, a Porsche in second and a Cadillac in fourth and fifth. Oh, we've got a race and here comes the Lexus! There are many traditions at Le Mans, but arguably my favourite is getting pissed in what used to be the Guinness tent and is now the Carlsberg tent at roughly 10 o'clock. Okay. With Richard Porter and Alex Coy. Hello, boys. Hello. Hello. Hang on, I've got to come around that side. I'm the wrong side for the audio. There we go. Left and right. When did you get here, Richard? Uh, Thursday. How? <laughs> but, but with a car. Yes. It wasn't, it wasn't my car. Whose car was it? It belongs to Porsche. As I said to the man at the Euro Tunnel, when he went, is this your car? And I went, no. And he <laughs> looked at me, I went, it belongs to Porsche, Porsche, Porsche UK. And he went, okay. <laughs> so apparently that's all you have to say. And we which, which Porsche was it? Uh, 911 Carrera T. A current one? The good one. Yes. The good, the so good nice 911. Carrera T is the it's a it's a base model Carrera but with some sort of Carrera S bits. It's a manual gearbox. Oh! Now the old 911 Carrera T was one of my favourite ever 911s. Yeah. Is that a twatty thing to say? No. I have a I have a list of my favourite 911s and I, it was up there. I like the SC, the poor man's 911 oh, from well, the no, 70s. If we're going back, then yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's we could be here all night just doing that. Top ten 911s, go. But. Uh, yes, Porsche very kindly invited me to this and then said, uh, you can have a car uh, to come down in. And, and it was a very agreeable way to come down. I mean. Very agreeable. I saw a picture of you and Johnny on the start-finish straight in the build-up to the race. Yes. You've never done that before, have you? Yeah, we did it. Here? Yes. We bloody did you, me and Zorg. I've got a picture of us. Have you? Wait, do you know, do you know how busy it was today on the start, on the on the knob, Garrett. <laughs> I've got photo evidence because I mean, also it was much quieter in those days. This was probably like 15 years ago. And there's Yumi and Zog, and someone else must have taken the picture. We're on the starting positions, running. We're, we're pretending yeah. to run like, like that was after the race, wasn't it? Was it? I think. Oh, yeah, it was. I don't okay. think it was before oh, the God, race. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been on the start finish straight. Still a knob, Garrett. I'm still a knob. Oh, God, I thought it was before. Anyway, well, yes, but I mean, you might be right. But I'm pretty sure it was afterwards. I would look at the time signature on my digital yeah, photograph. Yeah, but it was either way, you know what it's like. But it was very busy down there. And as Johnny pointed out, there are about five separate Mardi Gras going on as well. Lots of people on stilts, yes. drumming, yes. lots of drumming. Fun. Yes. Um, and the girls from the Folie Berger showing yes. their knickers. Yeah. No. I know. Was, I've never seen was, that before it was here. It's extraordinary. Yeah. And Derek Bell. Oh. There ain't no party without Derek Bell. I met Derek Bell for the first time in a traffic jam on the way to my second ever visit to Le Mans. He pulled up alongside me in a Bentley and we interviewed him. We told, we videoed it for an ITV thing that we did. Fancy meeting him here, I said. <laughs> but, but that's about right. Well, Alex, when did you get here and how? Uh, yesterday by plane and Ford Mustang. Which Mustang? Uh... A regular coupe with a six-speed manual. An engine. An engine. Not a engine. motor, not an electric motor, but an, no, an no, ICE. It's, it's, because it, it's 60 years of the Mustang. Yeah. Uh, Mustang is racing here for the first time since 1967. Uh, they've got three cars going on. I'm, I'm all for car 44 because there's two British drivers and a German driver. And uh, the lady I drove with yesterday was German. So it, that, the yellow car is our car. And it's doing okay. Okay. It's, well, it's early. Well, we're not even halfway yet. I know. Yeah. I've slightly lost track of the racing. Me too. We speak because um, yeah. we've been hanging out it's, here. It's, the, the thing about Le Mans is you go, right, I'll see you at this hour and then you at that hour and then the hours blend into one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the next thing we know, it's, uh, it's two in the morning. Well, I'm back in Ferrari for the win. Oh, yeah. But it's Which the wrong Ferrari? Fr uh, the number 50. Um, uh, Guy, Pierre Guidi, uh, Calado and uh, Giovinazzi. But did you see earlier on, and quite early in the race, the yellow AF Corsa car yes. made the right tyre choice. Going like hell. Yeah. You know, the guy is w one working arm. with one arm. Yeah, like, yeah. I, now, how do you know this? Because I, I, haven't, I haven't looked this up, but 
obviously when he drove, he came back to F1 and they adapted the car to work with him. But he's sharing a car with other drivers who are not necessarily looking for the same adaptations he is. So how is that car set up? I reckon he's holding the steering wheel with his teeth while changing gear. I don't, either way, but he was going like a bastard, yeah, yeah, a yeah. wonderful Polish bastard. Yeah, thought, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That is fantastic. Well, it, it, it would be a hoot if the AF Corse Ferrari, not the Ferrari AF Corse Ferrari, but the pure <laughs> AF Corse Ferrari, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If they won the race, we were just speculating earlier on, would um, Vasseur get on the phone and say, oh, no, you must pull over now, and let, otherwise you don't get a car next year? Oh. I could be. I, I could was be. asking the people at Porsche about this because they're running the official factory effort in inverted yeah. commas, which is Penske, yeah. but then uh, there's the Jota effort as well. Yeah, yeah. That's technically a customer car. Yeah. And I was asking someone from Porsche, what is the flow of information back and forth? You know, as in, if it turns out that Jota have some advantage, is it? Is there sort of some kind of uh, guys? Could we just have, and what 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 setup are you running there, or, or is it? Or are they racing? I bet they, they're going to they, say they're racing, aren't they? They they could not say, and not because they were hiding anything. They just went genuinely. We don't know, but it is a customer car. But obviously, for the greater good, there will be sharing. We, uh, they couldn't say for sure because they, they they don't know the details of it. They're not you know they're not a race person. They they're a road car person. But but th- it is interesting to know whether these sort of technically customer cars. Yeah. Are, they're not an island. It doesn't work like that anymore. Yeah does yeah. It? Because yeah, no, no. Else, you know that you need the the correct software to be able to do all the stuff. And they could just go oh no. Your software license has expired. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. You, you got update 1.02 and we're running 1.04. Oh. Oh. But you know, sometimes when you do a software update on the phone or something, and it actually sort of then they go, oh, can they rush out a thing because it turns well, out it was worse. Your battery's going really slowly. Yeah. Up. yeah. Oh, no. Hang on, boys. Smile for the camera. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, are there more people here this year than ever before? When was the last time you came? Six years ago. Nine years ago for me. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that happen? I don't know. Well, but, you know, family, life, child, yeah, yeah. children, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. So the worst thing was, also, uh, I, I did a video call with my daughter yesterday morning and she went, are you at the, are you at the racetrack? And I'm like, yeah. She went, show me some racing cars. And I was like, oh, I'm, no, because I, I, I don't think it's you understand how big this that. place is. Yeah. They're not out there at the moment. I promised I would take her some pictures of racing cars, which warms my heart, the fact that she's fascinated by this. But, but yeah, it's been, it's been a long time. How old is she now? Seven? Six. Six. She should be, should be seven uh, in a few weeks. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 good. yeah. But uh, I think, yeah, maybe more people definitely just things have changed oh I got way lost more, sort of, yes I got lost yeah. oh my god I got lost last night yeah, it I really got horribly lost last night <laughs> on the way just trying to get back to where I'm sleeping awfully lost having said that we randomly bumped into each other mm. yesterday at a very dark moment for me yeah I know you're a bit crook and I was but, but it was I was still joyful and I was on the phone to my wife and I was suddenly like I've got to go I've seen Gareth <laughs> Well, it was extraordinary. We were on our way back from the driver's parade Friday and I, I picked up a bug or something. I spent most of yesterday afternoon throwing up. I was struggling to make it all the way from town on the tram without throwing up and everyone you on the tram. very pale. I was very ill. Friends, I love you, but I have to run. you got to go. I've got to go. you got an appointment on the start finish some, straight. I've got to look at some oh, you corners. Got yes. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, the, our, our evening, as ever with Le Mans, is like, we'll meet you here, there. And uh, I now need to leave. And it takes 45 minutes yeah. to get from... Also, for the tape, it's quarter to midnight. Thank but, you. But, but it never stops, does it? It's, no. Well, no. it doesn't for you because you're a professional, you're working, but... <laughs> Adjacent. I'm sort of here. <laughs> professional but borders. I'm, I'm semi-professional. I'm, I'm here in in in. No, I'm just here, yeah, whatever. Right, hey, I'm you. gonna hug you. Love you, Alex. Love you, brother. Are we bye. gonna see you later? Um, I, I will be back at two in the morning. If you're still going. Well, there's always a chance of that. I don't know really. I'll, I'll text you. Love you, bye. Bye. Thanks very much. How many people did you come over with? How many in the? You were like a fleet of Porsches driving no, not over. Really? No, it's um. Uh, Johnny and me and then uh, and that was just the two of us convoyed over and we're here uh, we're with a chap called Dom who works for motorsport and a lady called Sam you'd love Sam Cardiff 
Oh, come on. Cardiff. Oh, not only that, Sam went to university in Cardiff, like me. Like you, yeah. Did the same course as me. She was no. a year ahead. Oh, wow. We didn't know each other, but we figured out, like, law of averages, we must have been in the same pubs, cafes, library at the same time. I mean, we just must have done. So she's here, but she makes radio packages for local radio and things, sort of just places, you know, so she's going interviewing drivers, doing updates, and just, just placing them with, you know, sort of BBC local radio and things like that. So... Uh, and that's it. There's four four media with Porsche, so it's pretty low key. I can trump your Porsche that you came over in. Yeah. I came over in a Suzu D Max pickup. Did you? Yes. Is that why Zog's not here? Because he, he hates refuses pickups. to travel yeah, in yeah. a pickup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Uh, Actually, Zog couldn't make it for other reasons this year. Oh, I know because I messaged him when when we were messaging, and I knew you were coming, and I messaged Zog and said Le Mans, and he was like, oh, "I can't know, so he's just busy." So. Yeah, it was a shame. But um, what were we saying before that? I can't remember. I can't remember either. How many Guinnesses is it now? 11? Oh, it's only two, but I had, I've had some other beer before that. Because, you know, that doesn't count. Only Guinness counts. It's, it's actually not a bad Guinness yeah, considering the really. circumstances. I, also, I, 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 uh, because it has been in the past a bit of a tradition to come to the Guinness tent, there is no Guinness tent, but when I found out they still serve Guinness, Guinness in the Carlsberg tent, I was like, my sort of... OCD brain went well I have to have a Guinness because we're yeah, here it's I late. did the same I know it's ridiculous I, listen we started this conversation talking about tradition we finished it talking about tradition yes. long Wonderful may those tradition. traditions continue my brother so. it's great to see you man you too man hugs hang on. podcast <laughs> hugging <laughs> so good to see you uh, right more booze more motorsport Traditionally, Gareth Jones on Speed episodes from Le Mans finish usually about three o'clock in the morning with the sound of the cars either at the Porsche curves or the start finish straight. But this time round, it's raining and I don't want to stand outside. And we've just spent how many hours? Three hours? All the hours. Yeah, all the hours drinking with Richard Porter and Alex Goy at the Guinness tent, at the Carlsberg tent, and uh, consequently, the only sensible action is sleep. So it's good night, Raph. Night, night. Good night, Chris. <laughs> no. Oh, you're staying up to yeah, watch I'm more. Out again now. How's that going you now? are hardcore. Fucking I'm going out here. Yeah. Good night, Phil. And it's good night from him. Ha ha ha! The classic. Join us for the final episode from Le Mans 24 here in the well, whenever I publish it, probably in a week's time or a few days. Who knows? See you then. Enjoy. If you enjoyed this show, then please like, share, and subscribe. For information on how to contact the show, see pictures, read song lyrics, follow us on social media. Or to sponsor this podcast, go to GarethJones.tv. Gareth Jones on Speed is made in Wales by Whisper. Gareth Jones on Speed!